Hey peeps! Guess what today is? Motivation on Monday. Woo! Oh my God! Did you see what happened over the weekend? Mmm. I hit a hundred thousand on YouTube. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Celebrating all by myself. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Um, we hit a hundred thousand over the weekend. It was so amazing. And so today, I just want to talk about that. I want to talk about being motivated to do things in your life that just, that, that you wanna do. Like, I never knew a couple years ago that I would be doing YouTube like I'm doing. I never knew that I'd be so excited to hit 100,000 on YouTube. <laughs> I, but you know what, I just, we all have goals and, and that was just one of my goals. And so today I'm gonna talk to you while I'm putting my makeup on. So, you know, I, you know, I love my makeup. This is how I start my day. So you guys have always been like, Teresa, how do you start your day? Can you, show, can you show us some makeup? All that kind of stuff. So anyways, that's what we're gonna do. You're gonna get to listen to me talk to you uh, while I'm doing my makeup. And I'm gonna explain some of the steps that I do in my routine. Um, a lot of, I use so many different primers, guys. Um, but the one primer I love the most, because I'm an older woman, I like using this Smashbox Even Skin Tone. As an older woman, you know, we all get age spots, wrinkles. You're trying to even up your skin tone, your complexion. We're trying to correct a lot. <laughs> and so I like to use this, this particular primer. And then you guys are always like, oh, what, what um, foundation do you use? So because I spray tan a lot, guys, I spray tan a lot because I like looking like I'm always coming back from a Caribbean trip somewhere. And I had gotten diagnosed with melanoma skin cancer in 2015. So I spray tan a lot because I just like color and I'm, I'm from Texas, you know? So it's warm here all the time. Most people do walk around with great tans down in Texas. So because I spray tan a lot, I like to try to match my foundation with my skin tone close. Not, I mean, I, I don't want my face to be this dark. Give me a break. So I kind of like, I, I used my little mixing plate and I used three different foundations. I used my La Prairie uh, Caviar. I think this one is a golden beige. But I used that one and then I take both this product and I take two different colors from this product and I mix these two colors with my La Prairie and I mix it on a mixing plate and that's how I come up with this color. And this is pretty much a color I like to wear in the summertime. You're all gonna have your opinions, but I like it. So then once I've done that, I like to go in and do my eyes. So today I've decided to use my James Charles palette. I know, the haters are gonna come out using James Charles. I don't care. I love this palette and I love this palette because look, this palette has so many colors. I like to use on a daily basis, I kind of just like to look like I'm kind of natural, but with a little pop, because I have blue eyes. So I like to use colors that I think enhance my blue eyes. And so I like to go in right off the bat with a little bit of this really pretty, um, I think this one is called, let me see what this one's called. This one is called Canvas. Perfect name, right? Perfect name. So I just go in there and you know what? I need my sleigh all day mirror. Hello. If you don't have one, you better get one. Draw cosmetics. Yes. So I'm going to go in with my little brush and do a little bit of canvas. And I do this on my inner eyelids. Now you guys know that I'm like the queen of getting ready fast. You know, I don't like to take all day to get ready. No, don't got all day. Don't got all day. And most of us don't have all day. Most of us are on a time frame. Most of us work, most of us have got to get the makeup on and get out the door, but we want it to look like we had a makeup artist do it, right? Now I'm gonna take this color. This color is uh, Code James. Mm. So we're gonna take Code James and we're gonna take it and put it on the outer edges of your eye. And you see how I just put it on the outer edges of my eyes? Looks pretty natural, right? Then I'm gonna take another brush and I'm gonna go in to 10% off. Ooh, that's a cool name for, for color, right? I'm gonna go for 10% off here, which is a little bit darker, and I'm gonna blend it into the corners of my eyes. You know, recently, my buddy, Rich Lux, did a collaboration with Jen Gerard with Gerard Cosmetics, and I could not be more proud of him. 
you know he's all about that setting spray. You know, his drama is so off the charts on his channel that he's gonna crack his concealer if he doesn't have some good setting spray, right? During this video, I am gonna talk about the new collaboration with Jen Gerard and Rich Lux. I'm so proud, and I'm telling you what, you know I've been a fan of the Slay All Day setting sprays. You know, I got a whole stack of it here. Slay All Day setting spray. If you don't use setting spray, you are missing out because before I found setting spray, I could never figure out why my makeup wouldn't stay put or why I had to touch up so much. Then I learned about setting sprays and I'm telling you what, I can't live without setting sprays. Anyways, Rich Lux and Jen decided to do this collaboration um, because Rich Lux loves his setting spray so much. And I'm telling you what, they can't even keep it on the shelves. It's flying off the shelves so fast. People are just loving it. Well, first of all, everybody loves Rich Lux, right? And everybody loves setting spray. So it's just a perfect combination. It's like a perfect marriage, right? It couldn't have happened to a better person. So anyways, then I go back in with a little bit of the canvas and I go above my color that I've created on my eyes. Then I take another little brush and I go in with some more of that Code James. No, actually I'm gonna use the 10% off. And I take that 10% off and I come in and I go underneath my eye. I bring that color down. So a lot of you don't know this, but I cannot wear mascara on my lower lashes because my I have such high cheekbones that I, if I try to wear mascara on my lower lashes, I end up with little black dots all over my cheeks. And I've tried every mascara under the sun and every single one does it. So even makeup artists that work with me, they all know, don't put mascara on the bottom of Teresa's eyelashes because they're just gonna, it's gonna end up on her cheeks. So I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell how this color is like actually helping pop my blue eyes. That's enough on my eyes so far, guys. So I'm gonna go in with Gerard Cosmetics Highlighter, or this is the contour, actually. This is the Honeymoon Palette. So this has got the blush, the first class blush, and the bronzer. So I'm gonna go in with the, br the bronzer. I'm gonna go in with the Forever Bronzer. I know, I use a fairly big brush. I like my big brush. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna do a little bronzing. So guys, I just went in with my Dryer Cosmetics palette. I uh, used the Forever Bronzer and we're gonna go in with the Marilyn. This is the Starlet pal uh, palette. We're gonna go in with some Marilyn and we're gonna do a little highlighting in the middle of my forehead. And I used too much, guys. <laughs> I'm going to use the Lucy, no that's not Lucy, this is Grace. We're gonna go in with a little bit of Dominic Paul palette. You see that, the Dominic Paul palette. It's got just the right color, this Buddha is exactly the color I need for the middle of my forehead. You're saying, why are we doing makeup on a Motivational Monday? Well, I'm motivating you guys because how many of you guys reach out to me all the time and talk about, oh, I wish I was the president of a company. Oh, I wish I was a CEO. Oh, I wish I was this, a millionaire. Well, guess what, guys? If you're gonna be a millionaire, you gotta look like a millionaire, okay? You gotta dress the part, you gotta look the part. You need to have the look to present yourself to the world as though you are a boss babe and you mean business and you are going to be professional and you are going to be successful. So now I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown. I love me some Bobbi Brown. Love my Bobbi Brown blush. It's called Tawny. I love it more than anything. I just, I've, but I've been a Bobbi Brown girl forever also. Love me some Bobbi Brown. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of contour. Now, they always, makeup artists always tell me I've got the perfect cute little nose. Born with this damn thing, it's so little. Anyways, I go in with a little contouring on the edges with that same Gerard palette. A little color on the end of the nose, a little color underneath the lip. Okay, love this. This is the brow bar to go. And this is Blondes to Brunettes. It's so easy, so easy, so incredibly easy. So I literally am going in with the little guy there and I'm going to put a little product on my eyelashes, or my eyebrows, sorry guys. Okay guys, so we are just about done with these perfect brows. I'm gonna go back in with that Gerard highlighter. We're gonna go in with the, with the Grace, I believe it is. Yeah, love me some highlighter. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We are looking good, if I might say so myself. 
Now I'm gonna go in, this is my favorite setting powder. Like it's called Bye Bye Pores. I don't know, for an aging woman, I, it, it doesn't get any better than this. this. This is like the best, the best. I go in with my Bye Bye Pores and I go in and I set all of this with this beautiful powder. So anyways, we're gonna talk about the setting spray, the Rich Lux and the Ginger Art collaboration. Bust of the House Ice Cream Shack. This was the best collaboration ever, guys. In here you get two setting sprays, regular size, and then you get the travel size. So you've got the mint chocolate chip, and you've got the dream sickle. So this is the mint chocolate chip, this is the dream sickle. And you're going, why is she putting setting spray on before she puts her eyelashes on? Because I can, and I do. <laughs> I like to get all this set before I put, because remember, once you put your eyelashes on, then your eyelashes are kind of in the way of the setting spray locking in that eye shadow that you just put on. So you got the dream sickle, and you've got the mint chocolate chip. Both of them are freaking amazing. So we literally want to set this all in. And don't be afraid to use this stuff. Like, drown yourself in it. It doesn't matter. Like, just set that, set that makeup. Oh my God, I could just eat my face off. <laughs> it smells so good, oh my God. Jen, you're a genius. I mean, like, who would have thought of a little baby spray? Perfect. Then guess what, guys? Even after you have used your setting spray and it's all gone and everything, Guess what, the box is still usable for other things. You can stick brushes in there. Like you can keep all your brushes in there. It's, it's still a usable box. You don't have to throw it away. There's no reason to throw it away. You'd still be able to put brushes in there and, and still use it. No, I don't really use an eyeliner per se on the top lid because I'm trying to keep this real natural looking, right? So I'm gonna use just a little tiny bit on my waterline on my lower lid. So we're gonna stick these bad boy lashes on. Do, do, do. You're like, how do you get those lashes on? It's pretty darn easy, guys. Pretty darn easy. You just lay it down next to your lash, your lash line on your eyelid. I know I still use my little applicator that's probably 20 years old that I keep washing. I don't want to ever get rid of it because that's how I learned to put them on. And so I'm like, I can't get rid of it. It's, it's, it's the little trusty plastic thing. <laughs> Guess what, guys? We are using Lily Lashes. Nothing better than Lily Lashes. Love me some Lily Lashes, and I think mine are Miami. Love Miami. You wanna go out into the world and be a boss babe? You need to look like a boss babe. And today, we are doing boss babe makeup. And then we're gonna go in with some Gerard Cosmetics lip liner and lipstick. Ooh, I'm liking this look, guys. Love me some sugar and spice. So we're gonna go in with some sugar and spice. Get this lip lined out. We got that line in the lips. Now we're gonna go in with some Madison Avenue Hydra Matte. Mmm, love, 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 guys. This is a great color. Love me some Hydra Matte. Some of you are going, oh God, can she get down with the makeup so we can find out who won the Louis Vuitton giveaway? <laughs> Before we add that mascara, I'm gonna slay now with some mint chocolate chip. Help set that lipstick. Mmm, yes. Savage, savage. So guys, this is the finished look. Oh, I am still in my pajamas. But anyways, this is the finished look. If you're gonna be a boss babe, you need to look like a boss babe. So that's part of Motivational Monday today is, you know guys, put your best foot forward. No matter where you're at, what you're doing, you just have to put your best foot forward. And part of that is having your face match your attitude. With that said, I know you've been waiting through this whole video to find out who won the LV. So, you guys know that this is a random pick. It's no different than just picking a name out of a hat. That's how it is, except I have to do it from a phone. So, the first winner, I'm gonna scroll from the top. I'm just gonna scroll, 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 and where it stops, it stops. And then the second winner, I'm going to scroll from the bottom. Let's get into this, and let's pick our winners. So, here we go. We are on Instagram. Boom, boom. Okay, so stop. Okay, scrolling from the top down, we have stopped and we are on Danielle Fuentes, underscore. Boom, there's your first LV winner. So from the bottom now, here we go. We're going to start scrolling, 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 scrolling. And stop, I am Reggae LB. There you go. Basically guys, I have randomly chosen our two LV winners. So congratulations to the winners. And to the rest of you, 
including the winners, continue to subscribe, continue to tell your friends because guess what? Every single month we are doing this and leave your comments below and let me know, do you want me the next giveaway to be Prada, Fendi, Louis Vuitton, Valentino, like give me some hints guys of what you're looking for as a giveaway. Or do you guys want gift cards? I can do gift cards too. So, you know, I, I can do makeup giveaways. I can do whatever you guys want. So why don't you leave your comments below on what you'd like the next month's giveaway to be. I'm also gonna leave these two winners names in the description box so that everyone knows who won. Um, and guys, this was so much fun. And today's video, Motivational Monday, is just really all about being a boss babe, having boss babe look, boss babe makeup. If you're gonna be a CEO, you need to look like a CEO and you need to represent us. So with that said guys, get out there, find me everywhere. I am everywhere, follow me. Thank you so much for helping me hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, guys. I love you so much, mwah, 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 mwah. And until next time, bye bye.